morning. It is Thursday, October 18, 2012. Welcome to CBS This Morning. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Years ago, door-to-door -door saleswomen would ring your bell and say, Avon calling. Now government regulators are calling Avon and other cosmetic companies. As Chip Reed reports, they're accused of making product claims that simply go too far. Breakthrough technology. Listening to the advertisements, you'd think today's skincare products were bottled at the fountain of youth. An Avon breakthrough 10 years in the making. And as the war against wrinkles becomes more scientifically complex, this is a new clinical proline eraser with AF33. The promises become bolder. To outsmart genetics. But now the Food and Drug Administration is cracking down, sending warning letters to at least four companies, including cosmetic giants Avon and Lancome threatening to block sales or even seize their products if they don't tone down their ads. Dermatologist Dr. Tina Alster used to be a consultant for Lancome, so she's seen the business from inside and out. It's surprising that they didn't react to these claims before. Ulster says the FDA looked the other way for years as companies puffed up the effects of their cosmetics. To sell drugs, they would need FDA approval, and that could take years, during which time the companies would have to suspend sales of these highly lucrative products. Propelled by baby boomers, sales of anti-wrinkle potions last year were almost $3 billion, and youth in a bottle doesn't come cheap. And younger looking eyes. This one goes for $68 for just two-thirds of an ounce, or approximately one and one-third tablespoons. Both Avon and Lancome say they're working with the FDA to resolve the advertising issue. Ulster says the companies will probably give in and tone down their ads because the alternative would mean losing millions and millions of dollars while the FDA decides if these anti-aging products are cosmetics or drugs. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed. Washington. And the FDA sent its letter to Avon on Tuesday. The company now has 15 days to respond. Now to the growing battle over the link between vitamins and fighting cancer. 